Hi, today we're, today we're uh, going to discuss one of our hot water stations that we produce. Uh, we have five models available. This is the, the Islander series that we, we sell. It's a complete hot water station. It consists primarily of a, of a tank, the storage tank, and all the connected plumbing and control. Um, these hot water stations are pre-engineered and they're and built at Sun Earth. They're pressure tested. They're designed for, uh, the Islander is designed as, a, as an open loop system direct system, primarily for use in areas that have no freezing conditions. They um, come in three sizes, uh, 65 gallon, 80 and 120, that's the size of the tank. Um, they're used for, usually sized with one or two or maybe three smaller collectors uh, on the roof or ground mount. Uh, again, it's all the benefit of the Islander is it's completely built. It has all the components necessary to operate. It's tested here at the factory. Uh, both the electrical and the plumbing are uh, electrical is tested and the plumbing is pressure tested so to ensure uh, you know, trouble free operation. Um, just going over the tank, um, I'm going to point out some of the components we have on the tank and what their purpose is. The first one we're going to talk about is the tank. It's an 80 gallon tank. It comes uh, available in two Two, two warranties, uh, three different sizes. Two warranties, six or 12, that's, that's an option. It comes with a, a specific tank warrant uh, manual, use the care manual for the tank. That covers the uh, maintenance, um, general maintenance and operation of the tank components. The tank comes, the tank comes with the solar system obviously to heat it, but also it has under this upper cover, it, it, it has a, an electric element and thermostat um, for heating when the weather is um, not producing enough solar energy. So it does have its own backup element, we don't like to we try to avoid them. What, what that consists of is the thermostat that's like your house thermostat or your refrigerator. It, it keeps the temperature wherever you set it and then the heating element. These two components are in under this cover as part of the tank. This is a, a, involves hooking up the electrical power 240 volts. Again, that's all described. The pertinent information is in this manual. Let's do some care now. Um, the tank is the, the other thing with this tank. You have the dip tubes on top that are part of the tank. They're brass and they're dielectric. So these are pre-installed on the tank. The dip tubes wonder what these are. They're in the tank and they allow for um, the water to be distributed internally in the tank without having the external plumbing. Now this one is uh, done down uh, connected to the bottom here. That's the only external pipe we have. But these are internal to allow for, for proper distribution of the water. The other thing in the, in the tank is a Part of the tank construction is the uh, magnesium sacrificial anode rod. This is all, you don't see it, it's all there, it comes part of the tank. It helps protect the tank from uh, water quality issues. So that's all part of the tank. It also comes, this again, we're talking the tank. It comes with a safety valve. It's a pressure temperature relief valve that is located at the top of the tank and a, a diverting tube 
It's part of this is all part of the pre plumb system. The, the tube is in the, the sorry, the safety valve is at the top of the tank, and then this tube, in case the safety valve opens, it directs the, the water to a safe location. That's all part part of the tank itself. So those are the main main components of the tank. The next part that obviously you can see is the expansion tank. This is a little device, it's like a shock absorber for your car. It plums into the water, has a bladder. You can see the rubber bladder here. And it's pressurized with air. It's like air shocks. So this is pressurized to your water, to your uh, main system pressure and it regulates the pressure so that it, it what it does is it um, helps with the longevity of the tank in your plumbing actually so this is this is all it is included with the system the other thing that comes with it is fits with the expansion tank is a pressure gauge that's located right here that's the little pressure gauge we have that tells you what your city pressure is so you know that and then the tank here would be by the installer would be uh, pressurized with air to match the water the city water pressure the other moving with the uh, plumbing parts of the system we have this whole assembly again it's all pre-installed pre-tested ready to go when you get the when you get a um, island or hot water station. This whole assembly fits on top of your tank. It's a mixing valve assembly with a thermometer. So you can set, so, so if your tank is, let's say you have it set at 140, you can mix it down so the outlet temperature is not scalding. So you can set it at 120, 110, 125, whatever you feel is safe. We, the, the maximum for scalding is 120. Beyond that, you have to make sure people understand the temperature out of the tap may be hot. This small kids, older people in the home, this mixing valve here, assembly, will take care of that issue. That's all pre-plumbed on the tank, uh, ready for installation. Uh, the other item on the, as far as the water system is the, is the pump. We use a Grundfos pump. It's um, it uses about 35 watts. It's all stainless. It's it's all pre-wired, pre-tested. We test it here too. That's this item back here. Well, again, all pre-plumbed in. Uh, it uses about two-thirds the power that most of the common pumps that are used with um, these direct systems use. So it's it's very uh, reliable, uh, maintenance-free, very energy efficient, and long, longevity. You know, if you maintain your system on a regular basis, is you know, 10 plus years for the pump. The other uh, components, the last water parts of the system, liquid, are these two ball valves and drain valves that you can see here and here. They're for isolating the system, shut servicing, shutting, and flushing maintenance. So these all plumbed in. They're all um, have arrow, arrow directions on the handles that allow you to uh, set them properly and purge the air out like you would when you hook up uh, you know, water heater and you open your faucets and they spit. Or in the shower you get air spitting. These, these are there for that one of their purposes is to eliminate the air. All of the, all of these components, just so we come with man manuals um, with the package. They also come with a uh, Sun Saver operational manual, so to give you an idea. We also have um, additional information on our website, so you can, if you don't have a manual, you can download. Coming to the, so back to the system, the plumbing parts of the system are the tank, the expansion tank, the 
mixing valve is back here, kind of hidden, but I showed you the part. The pump and the two uh, flush drain valve operations, their service valves for the system. That's basically the plumbing. Now comes the controller. What we have is our Southern Digital Electronic Control. The way this 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 is the brains of the system. It operates the pump. It tells the pump when to turn on and off when there's enough solar energy. How does it know how to, to do that? Um, we have sensors. They're like your nerve endings of your finger. So those are placed. We have one down here to tell you the lower temperature of the tank. We have one on the roof to tell you the roof temperature. So the controller internally compares that and turns the pump on as necessary. We also have in the Islander a third sensor that's on the hot, it's, it's over here on top of the tank. It tells you the top of the tank temperature. So when you scroll through, and scrolling is very easy. Again, the controller, don't have, the window's not activated here, but it's an LCD window. And you can scroll through just by pressing the down arrow. It's all you have to touch, generally. You scroll and you get the top of the tank. The icon is at the top. You scroll and you get the icon at the, I'm sorry, at the top of the collector. Then the icon at the top of the tank and at the bottom. And you just, by pressing the down arrow, it just scrolls through those three icon and temperature positions. That's uh, something that allows you to tell what your system's doing, how much hot water you have in the tank. That's all digital. It comes it's ready to plug. It's plugged into an outlet. And then the pump is already plugged into the bottom of the controller. So that is the electrical part of it. There's no as long as there's an outlet for this control to plug into, we're all ready to go. In addition, the controller has a little switch on the side. It's a function switch on, off, and auto, which is right here, upper right, uh, left corner, um, off. And then when it's off, it's flashing all the time. Or when it's on, it's flashing all the time. Those are the two service positions. We don't leave them there. Once it's operational, you turn it to auto. It shows auto initially, and then auto disappears. So the controller is pretty, uh, pretty simple to operate. The controller, you've seen, it comes mounted, already wired, ready to go. The only wiring you need to do for this is the roof. So that's the only electrical wiring, mobile. The controller comes with an owner's manual, so if, if, if you have questions or forget, you can use the manual. It has a lot of useful information. It, it, um, all, all of the products come with a manual. So the tank's manual, the pump, I forgot to mention that. The pump has its own manual. The expansion tank has its own manual. And the around this way. The mixing valve has its own manual. This comes in the packet. It comes with the tank. It's attached to the tank. You should have all these products. All the manuals, components that, that are incorporated with the system. Again, it's very, the cost saving, you can see all these components are already assembled, already tested, ready to go for your system. So it offers you Worry-free operation, it offers you time savings. Essentially, you mount places where you want. Um, you connect it to your plumbing, and plug it in, and you're ready to go. Um, in, in certain uh, jurisdictions, you have to earthquake strap it for earthquakes. Um, the other item with the Islander, I mentioned the heating element in here. It, it, that, most of them are sold that way. However, you can pair this with your existing electric or gas water heater, tankless. So this is a pre-heat pre 
before that. So basically the water would come in from the city, be heated by this, and then go to your gas or electric or tankless water heater on its way to your closets. So it's a one, two, it's like going shopping from one store to the other and getting in your car and going home. So you, that's, this can be done, used either way. Primarily, again, they use a single tank as a space considerations. They have the optional element that they use when the, we have inclement weather. Again, going back, this is our, one of our hot water stations. We have others that are um, available. We'll be discussing in future videos. Hops uh, for different climates and different uh, situations. Again, these are re primarily residential units. So all our hot water station family are designed for residential, up to six to eight people. Uh, if you have that, or two, two, one, one, two days, we can provide any um, installers and dealers will size it for you based on your hot water uh, usage and need. So if you have two families living there, you get the 120 gallon system. If you have one person or two, you can get to 80 or 65. So there's plenty of options for you. Tank Forest, figuratively, this is where we build our uh, Islander system. We have quite a few on the line, we call it. What we're going to talk about here is an option for the tank, and that's these milk red cylinders here. These are water filters that are available for the system. So if you want, this is for pre-filtering the water that comes into the tank to be used in your hot water fixtures. So all, only hot water is filtered. The water that comes in for hot water use. So if you have some um, problems with hardness or other issues with the water, this takes care of it. Not, it's not necessarily for drinking purposes as far as purifying it to that extent. It's just to, to make the water less, uh, more compatible with, with the entire system. The path, if you need to pacify it for hardness, it takes care of a lot of hardness issues. And since you're not using the water for your house water for toilets or cold water use, and this filter, it's only for using hot water, it lasts quite quite a, a while for the system. It also, as with these cartridge filters, replacement cartridges are available. Usually on a smaller system, it's a, a good for a year. And if you have a lot of families like use, you can, maybe it goes six months. You, trying to conceal the hot water changes a little bit when the filter is, is basically um, ready to change. So they're available on the Islanders. Um, just ask, it's an option. 